Al's Liner, the ultimate DIY coatings kit. This training video will guide you through all the necessary steps in protecting and beautifying your car, truck, boat, ATV, outdoor equipment, decks, or anything you want protected. Let's begin with personal protection. Even though Al's Liner is the safest coating skit on the market, you still need to wear personal protection. Al's Liner is very low in VOCs and isocyanates and only requires applicators to wear a half-face painless respirator with chemical cartridges. These can be picked up at your local hardware store. You also want to spray Al's in a well-ventilated area. In your garage or your backyard, wherever you are spraying Al's Liner, make sure that you have adequate ventilation. First thing you want to do is tape off the area that you want sprayed. Use an automotive grade masking tape and either paper or visqueen to cover areas you want protected from possible overspray. Sand down the area you want sprayed. Owls needs to have a rough surface to adhere to. You can use a stiff cut brush or a DA sander to scuff the surface. If you are working with sandblasted materials or bare metal, you will need to apply a light coat of etching primer so owls will adhere properly to the surface. After the surface has been properly prepped, clean the area to make sure that there is no leftover debris. You can use a good quality pre-paint cleaner to do this. Next, apply a light coat of Owl's Primer over the entire area to be sprayed. Let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes or until tacky. Now you will want to mix the material. Take out the container labeled B and shake it vigorously until all the contents are fully mixed. Next, pour containers B, C, and color into container A. To mix smaller amounts, refer to the instruction booklet or view the instructions online. Mix all the components in the A container with a supplied mixing paddle using a drill until all the white is gone and the color is completely uniform. Note. After mixing Al's liner, the pot life for each mixture is 20 minutes. Make sure before you mix your materials that you are ready to spray. Empty the mixture into the hopper and you are ready to spray Al's liner. Hook up your gun to an air hose and set your air pressure to 50 PSI. Gently pull back on the trigger, staying 18 inches from the target. Continue to pull back on the trigger until you reach the desired texture. Make sure when you spray all the liner that you're using a fluid motion moving the gun and not your wrist. If there is any material left in the hopper after you have finished spraying, turn the gun upside down and let the excess material drain out into a container. This will help facilitate cleaning. After you spray all the liner, let the materials harden inside the gun. When the materials have hardened, you can easily pull out the dried material from the gun. You will want to remove the front cone and pull out the shaft from the rear of the gun. Remove all hardened materials and reassemble the gun. You are now ready to use your Owl's Liner kit to protect and beautify any project you may be working on. For technical questions and information, please call your local Owl's Liner representative or visit us online at www.owlsliner.com. Thank you for using Owl's Liner for your protection needs.